Hello everyone, welcome to the next session on SOLIDWORKS. In this session, we are going to design a leaf spring. We will start by going to the front plane, normal 2. Then I will go to sketch and I will select sketch option here. I will first draw two center lines, one passing horizontally and the other passing vertically. Next, I'll go to center point arc. I'll choose a point on the vertical axis, then two points on the horizontal axis. Next, I'll give dimension to this arc by choosing this distance as 40. Also, I'll give this position as 40. I will mark the radius of this arc as 90. Next, I will go to the center point arc again. Again, I will mark an arc on the horizontal axis with respect to the vertical axis. And I will give it dimensioning like the previous one. give it dimensions like the previous one. Now I'll give the radius of this arc. So this is done. Now I will go to three point arc and I will mark these two points. I will draw this arc and then I will draw a circle at the center. I will give the radius to the circle. The diameter is say 4. Next I will go to the mirror option. It is asking for the entities to mirror. So I'll select these two and it is going to mirror about the central axis. You can see here it has got mirrored. I'll click on the tick option. Now I'll exit from here. Next, I'll go to Features and I'll select Extruded Boss Base. I'll select the Sketch 1 and the depth I'll give as 6 mm. And I'll select OK. And once this is done, I'll go to the Front Plane, Normal 2. I'll make another sketch here. And then I'll go to the line option and I'll make the center line then I'll go to three point arc and I'll draw three points here now I'll give it dimensions this is 32 on both sides. Then I'll make another arc below it and I'll give it dimension again. This is 98 and I'll give the distance between these two points as 2 mm. Now I'll draw a line from this point straight below and then again from this point straight down. Then I'll go to trim 
and I'll remove these extra lines. And this is done. I'll exit the sketch and I'll go to features extrude. You can see here it is extruding in the backward direction. I just have to make sure that I uncheck the merge result option and OK. So the first leaf has been created after the master leaf. This one is the master leaf and this is the first leaf below it. Or you can say this is the second leaf. So once this is done, again I'll click on front plane, normal 2. Again I'll go to sketch and I'll first draw the center line. Now I'll draw the next leaf by using the same process. So I'll go to the three point arc. I'll mark three points and this is the arc. I'll give this dimension as 20 and also this distance as 20. I'll draw another arc below it and give dimensions. This is 98. And I'll give the vertical distance between these two points as 2 mm. I'll go to line and I'll draw vertical line here. Also, I'll draw a line from this point below. I'll use the trim option and remove the excess part. Again, I'll give this dimension because it is not proper as you can see. I'll mark this as 2 mm. Once this is done, I'll exit the sketch. Features, extrude boss base. You can see here it is getting extruded. Just don't forget to click on merge result. And OK. So we have created three leaves. Two plus one master leaf. Again, I'll click on the front plane, normal two. I'll go to sketch. I'll first draw the center line. I'll go to the three point arc. I'll give the dimension. I'll mark this as 10. Also, I'll mark this as 10. Now I'll draw a straight line from here below and I'll complete this. I'll just give this dimension as 2 mm and the sketch is done. Last I'll go to features extrude boss base. You can see here this gets extruded. Click on merge results such that it is unchecked. And OK. So this completes the leaf spring design. So this is how you make the design of leaf spring in SOLIDWORKS. With this, I end the session. I hope you understood the design. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.